gentlemen and welcome to something brand new MotoGP 21 is on my channel and MotoGP returns after a, a couple year break I think on my channel as well maybe even longer as you can see in the background we're doing little bits and pieces to the engine stuff the uh, frame all of that just to make our bike a little bit faster and then we'll work on everything else as we go as you can see, we are number three this year. We're going with the number three. We're wearing a green, well, we've got a white and green um, outfit, bike, bit of both, because we've gone with the Create Your Own Team. So we took over a team that was uh, created. It's not a real team. And as you can see in the background, I'm showing you all the stuff, all the level I play on everything, you know, all those, all the bits you need to know, you would have known if my original stuff did not corrupt. So we're working with what we've got here. And as you can see, we're quite far off the pace at the moment. We're nowhere near what anyone else has got on the track and we are struggling to find any pace, but we are getting faster lap by lap. And we have qualified on the final row of the grid, right beside Dennis Onchu. And we're gonna go with the medium hard. And we've gone with the COVID, the COVID calendar, which means We've got a double header here in Qatar. We've got the Barra Grand Prix of Qatar. Excuse me if my pronunciations are wrong. And then we've got the, I don't know what the other one's called, maybe the LaSalle race or something. But we go to the red lights and it's go, go, go. Here for our first race in the MotoGP 21 game. And we're going with um, the 66 AI at the moment, but we probably will go up soon as we get more comfortable but we are learning the game this is our first first try on the game and there has been some flashbacks in this race you won't see them you'll see little cut cut it out but that rider goes on the inside of us we turn into the corner he's just in a stupid place not a lot we can do and we continue on as we are we force that rider wide which is a bit naughty from us but we're just trying we're trying to learn the breaking points we're trying to learn a few things here on the new game the new handling physics as well because it is a little bit different than what it was on last year's game as well um, and we're just learning bits and bit, bits and pieces you know on the Moto3 by Kenton I'm starting down here in Moto3 is to learn the game now the AI I've noticed are quite smart at times but other times they decide to turn into you but yeah it's very very annoying also guys please let me know if you prefer postcom or live com. I can do well either, just let me know in the comments which one you would prefer. This is post com, obviously, as you notice, I'm not really talking about what's going on in the race right now. First race here, we're trying our very best to battle through. But yeah, post com or live com, just let us know. Now, we're going to get onto the race now, we've gone through all the PR stuff, and I'm looking forward to this series on MotoGP. And as you can see, the straight line speed we're carrying with a lot of slipstream as well. The slipstream around this guitar circuit is very, very overpowered. And we make that move nice and easy. And we're back into P21. We're quite far down the grid. We're trying our very best. We started, obviously, penultimate to last. And, um, yeah, we, we're fighting our way through. It's damage limitation today. And, um... As you can see, our rear tyre is absolutely on fire. Our front tyre is struggling as well. But that's another overtake down the main straight. And we're going to get in the slipstream with the rider there. And now Yamanaka and Nico Antonelli, I believe that is. We're trying to get them all. But we don't get Antonelli. But Yamanaka's on our inside and he gets us back, unfortunately. But we're now up the field a little bit. There's been a crash. We tried to avoid the guy on the outside. Turn in a little bit, the guy on the inside hits us and he drops to the floor, unfortunately for him. And we get a, I believe a track extending penalty, no we didn't get one there, I'm not really sure what happened. And yeah, the new the new feature on this game, where you can um, you do the long lap penalty, if you get a few corner cuts, rather than just a penalty, with a time penalty, which is very annoying. This is a cooler way of doing things, it's great, I love it. And as you can see, we're in P17 right now. And we're trying our best. That's our fastest lap of the race. We're nowhere near the pace of the leaders. But we're trying our very, very best to just get close. And uh, maybe not be so far off the pace like we are right now. 
But yeah, damage limitations. I believe personally we can get in the points, but it all depends on whether we can stay on this bike. And as you can see, our front tire on the right hand side is ruined. And we get a good run through there, and we get past Antonelli. And Yamanaka, the next one up the road, is still he's still in front of us. We go a little bit wide, but we're trying to use whatever speed we can on this bike and just whatever advantage we can. We're thinking about trying to outbreak the riders in front, but we're not confident enough on the, on the brakes yet. And um, we remain here for now. But we lost the position to Antonelli. I'm not really sure when that happened, but it's not on the video. But we slip dream him, obviously, down the main straight. And we get Yamanaka like he's standing still. We're into P15. We're in the points. Our fastest lap of the race is a 209.8. Not far off the leader. But there's Guevara has made a mistake. He's down. We go around him. We're in the P14. And we're, we're doing okay. We're, we're getting two points at the moment. I believe it's two points for P14. But, yeah, it, it, it is what it is. We're behind the riders in front. We're going to see if we can push and get any closer. But as you can see, our front tyre on the right-hand side is gone. We ran a medium front around here for today's race, which is teaching us what to do for the second race, the race number two of the season, which is around Qatar again, obviously. And um, as you can see, we're trying to get the slip to see if we can get any closer. There's not enough straight. We're going to finish in P14. But for race number two, I'm almost sure we're going to go with a hard hard due to that medium oh, absolutely getting to torn apart. But yeah, P14, not too bad. Um, very close to the fastest lap, but I think somebody did a 208. We signed ourselves a new personal manager as well in between the two races. Get a lovely little achievement for that one. And as you can see, we've qualified straight into Q2 from practice. Really happy to see that. We finished in sixth place in practice one, and it was enough to get us through. Or fourth, sorry, in practice one, it was enough to get us through. Now, our first lap is a 208.9. I think that's going to be enough for pole position, and it is. It's enough for pole position by a margin. Six tenths ahead of uh, Binder, eight tenths ahead of Messiah and Masia. Is it Masia? Somebody has to tell me how to pronounce that one. And then Acosta just behind 1.1 seconds back. But we're on pole. Our first pole position. And fingers crossed we can carry this in to maybe a podium. Hopefully a win. I'm just looking for points. And uh, I'm just being realistic. I know I haven't got the pace to be around the front at the moment. But pole position after learning. And we did go with a hard hard for this race. Because... I believe it's probably the best strategy, and our tyres will be better than everybody else at the end. But Masia has gone with a hard hard as well. But we've been jumped at the start. We've gone wide in turn one. We're trying not to push it too hard, but we're down to P5 from first place with a very cautious start to the race. And um, we are, yeah, we're trying our best to stay here, stay at least in P5. We've gone back into P4. We go a little bit early on the corner, but we're trying to force. Acosta out of the way, but he has none of it, stays there, we're down into P4, but hopefully we can now settle into the race, and maybe battle the leading runners, maybe, you know, just get a top 10, it's, it's all about consistency, if we can be consistent, we've hit the back of Acosta as I'm talking, if we can be consistent today, and our tyres, our tyres will be better than everybody else, other than Messiah, or Masia, we'll be fine. Now, we're just going to settle into the race. Fingers crossed, later on, we will be able to make a move on these guys in front. Get the angles wrong through there, but we are just pushing as hard as we can. We go wide, and it looks like we've lost two positions. And we come back on, and we hit Mino. That was poor from ourselves. We need to be more aware than that. But John McPhee and Artigas are now in front of us. Mino is trying to go around the outside. We're forcing him wide onto the curb. We're not having any of it. We keep our P6 for now. We thought about a move down the inside of John McPhee. Didn't look like a reasonable move. We'll probably go for that. We'll be on the floor. We'll probably put him on the floor as well. We've got to be realistic. And we're using the rider recovery system, which the AI aren't using, which is very strange. And as you can see, that was very aggressive from us in the final corner, knocking off Artigas and I think John McPhee as well. Very poor riding from ourselves. 
and uh, we need to do a little bit better at that in the future. But now we're trying to slipstream, get a distant slipstream from Acosta, just so we can close the gap slightly. We've done a 216.7 on the first lap, and uh, we are now trying to close in a little bit, because the gap is very, very big. And we have closed it. We've got a track limit warning there as well. I know Cost Acosta's on our inside. We're just going to chill where we are for now. If he makes a mistake, we will go for a move. But realistically, we have no reason to try and push for a move right now. But we get a really good run through this next turn. And are we going to go for a move? We're thinking about it. We're thinking about it. We decide against it for now. But we get a very good run off that corner. But Acosta seems to get a better one. We're just sitting here now, we're on lap three. We're thinking about where we're stronger than the riders in front. And realistically, we're stronger in the final corner and then down the main straight. But for now, our best situation is to sit behind these riders, try and get ourselves a nice run at some point down the main straight and see if it's enough to get us back into the lead and potentially win this race. And as you can see, we do have the fastest lap of the race with a 209.5. And we get another track limits warning. But yeah, we're trying to get a run. We're going wide here. We're going to cut inside, get on the power nice and early into power mode 3 for the straight, into the slipstream of Acosta. And we're going to get Massia as well. And as you can see, the other riders are sitting up Darren Binder. And we're into the lead here for the first time, a 209.4 as well fastest lap of the race and we're just gonna settle now let's see if we can gap like Acosta does in real life let's see if we can gap the rest of the field now we get into the lead now we're into the lead of the race and we've got the gap up to eight tenths of a second nine tenths of a second over a second now we do a 209.475 just a little bit slower than our fastest lap but very consistent 209.5 209.4 209.5 and 209.4 very consistent from ourselves and we're just we're settling into the rhythm now we're learning the bike we're learning how this game works we're getting to grips of it now we're on our final lap we're in power mode 3 for the entire lap we're, we're going for the fastest lap we want to beat our own fastest lap but yeah we are literally learning this game bit by bit as you're riding with us as you're watching this series we are getting better by just being on the bike just I don't like to practice, I don't like to like do uh, practice races to learn, I like to learn on the career mode so I'm not instantly going in and winning every race. And as we get comfortable and more comfortable the difficulty will go up as well. So don't, don't be um, disheartened the fact that we're winning our second race after being so far off the pace in race 1 and finishing P14. And um, yeah, don't be disheartened. It's basically we've done two races around the same track. We've got used to the bike, we've got used to the game just for this track. And we're coming around the final corner to win our first MotoGP race here on the Moto3 bike. And we set a 208.7 as well on the final lap, getting the fastest lap. What a race for ourselves. We won by 2.4 seconds. And yeah, it's a really good situation to be in. I'm really happy about it because it's progress. The race, race one, 14, race two, we're winning the race. We found some pace there that we couldn't find in race one, but I think it was the tire choice that really helped us as well. And it's a lovely victory. We move, we get the 25 points. We're now, we're 11, we went up 11 positions there and we're in third in the championship after two races. So it's a good start. And as you can see here, Park Ferme, there will be no podiums in Moto3. MotoGP will be the place where you get the podiums. And this time we will be going all the way to MotoGP. We had, obviously, was recording it on live streams last time. When we were recording MotoGP, it was awful. But this time it's on an Elgato, so you'll get the whole series. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you're looking forward to it as well. I've been Chris12LFC. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you later.